this video, I'm going to show you how to change the color of a clothing item in Affinity Designer. And I'm also going to show you how to apply a pattern to that clothing item. So I've gone ahead and opened the additional clothing items um, that I've included in the latest update. And this one is Body Shape 2 and you'll find that in the Women's uh, Portrait folder. And it's under the Additional Clothing Items folder. So I've opened it up in Affinity Designer and I've made sure that I'm actually in the Pixel Persona. Another thing to mention that it's important to open the PSD documents in Affinity, not the Illustrator documents as these don't work as well. The PSD documents open perfectly and it retains all the layers that I've named and all the items that I've named. I've also gone ahead and opened an abstract pattern, just one of the abstract patterns that you'll find in the extras folder and it's just a JPEG file that I've opened. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just turn off this instruction layer because we don't need it for now. So I'm just going to go to my layers panel. If you don't have that up, um, it should be on the right hand side and you'll see it under one of these panels. So just make sure that the layers panel is visible and I'm just going to turn that off by clicking the, the little tick mark. And then I'm going to expand the summer tops because I want to change the color of this cream summer top. So I need to find that and you'll see this one is on. So it's the one with a flowy tank top. And then I'm going to expand that again, which is very important because you'll see within this folder, there are many um, sub layers that are included in the folder. So we only want to change the color of the top. So I'm going to go ahead and select that layer. And you'll see automatically Affinity brings up a selection box. There are several ways of coloring, um, you know, applying color to an item, but I'm going to show you the quickest way and the way that I would use. So in your layers panel, you're going to see the FX function right at the bottom. This is an, a layer effect that you can apply to um, an item. And the nice thing about that is that you can just turn it off when you don't want to, you know, to use it in the future. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And then I'm going to select color overview and make sure that that's ticked on. And because we have black already up, that's going to be showing in, you know, the clothing item, which I don't want at this stage. I think I'm going to choose like a pinky color. Um, from this drop down, you can actually choose whichever one you feel comfortable using, whether it's RGB, CMYK. I'm just going to go with CMYK for now. And then just select, as I said, a little pinky color, maybe something like that. And then I'm going to hit close. And you'll see there's a little FX next to that uh, clothing item. So you've just quickly applied a color to that layer. As I mentioned, it's very important to expand these uh, items and make sure that you're only selecting the clothing item and not all the other goodies. Because if you apply the effect to the entire layer, you'll lose all those details. Okay, so I want to show you how we can, um, let me just deselect that. So I'm going to show you how we can actually apply a pattern to that same top. So I'm coming over to my JPEG pattern that I um, opened and then I'm going to edit copy and then come over to my working document and then use the menu edit paste inside. At the moment you can't see anything because we still have that layer effect happening on that particular top. Okay, so we just want to turn off that layer effect. So I'm just going to click on the FX and you're just going to simply deselect that. And now we can see the pattern showing through. So now I want to scale down that pattern. So holding down command on my keyboard to make sure that I scale down uh, it proportionately, I'm just bringing my cursor in and then moving it into position and a little bit more and that's it. And the, the lovely thing about that is the same thing applies. If you don't want the pattern anymore, you can just hit the tick mark and it'll go back to the original color that, that was um, available for that top. So I hope that helps and I hope it makes it easier for you to understand how to change items in Affinity Designer. Thanks for watching.